Hi guys, how's it going? And welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. And also, just in case you are a HP Reverb G2 owner, this is the go-to place for all your HP Reverb G2 experiences as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, very nice to meet you, and a huge welcome back, of course, to all our regular viewers and subscribers, because it's thanks to you that I keep wanting to do this and share more news about virtual reality. So today we're talking about, you know, the Xbox S controller, which is this little guy here, because as you know, well, for those who are regulars, we've been posting a lot of videos about Assista Cortesa Competizione and also Automobilista 2 in the last recent weeks. And a lot of you have been coming to the channel and leaving various different comments, including, do you have a, why don't you have a wheel? Where is your wheel? Do you know that using an Xbox S controller just kills the totally the immersion. So I really wanted to talk about this because, you know, there are some pros and cons to using one or the other. And I just wanted to give you my personal feedback on this and answer some of you guys. So if I just change the, uh, if I just transition to the other window and then we just go to the actual VR Essentials YouTube channel. So as you can see, we have various different videos here. We have the last two about Automobilista 2. And if I just go to the uh, this video here, let me just pause it. And then you'll see it. So if we look inside of the uh, the actual comments. Um, so Rui Asvido, excuse me if I didn't pronounce that properly. MS2 VR without a steering wheel is too close. All the immersion of this great simulator uh, is to lose, sorry, all the immersion. So, okay, let's explore this. Um, and then Grant Galloway, don't you have a wheel? Okay, we're going to explore this. And guys, believe me, there are so many other comments that are very similar to, you know, all the other, uh, all the other videos that we did about this stuff. So basically the way where I'm going to be coming from is pretty simple, okay? First of all, I don't really have space for a wheel. It actually takes space. Um, also, if you're on a wheel, you need to get pedals. Honestly speaking, I have a lot of cables running onto my desk. Um, and my space is between here and there. It's pretty cramped. So having a wheel, I don't really have space to have another table here. So you might be someone also who is having those limitations like myself, who doesn't have space to put a wheel on something or who doesn't have the proper table to clamp the wheel on. That's the first thing, okay? Uh, and also, you know, there are some pretty cool outstanding rigs out there with the chair and all these kind of things. If I just transition again, um, you know, and I, I was to type, for example, uh, PC wheel chair rig, you know, there are some pretty awesome things out there um, you know, if we look at, well, I mean, I think this is going to be pretty extreme, right? I mean, that that looks really, really amazing. That looks like something that's out of, I don't know, sci-fi or something. Uh, but generally speaking, people also do buy this kind of rig, which isn't too bad. It looks pretty cool, to be honest with you. Um, and also, I think I saw a foldable chair. Now, there is a foldable chair option, um, which I think looks pretty awesome if I was just to uh, maximize, you know, this picture and just put it here. That looks pretty cool. It looks like something, you know, you can put away and stuff, but come on, let's be realistic. You know, we all want to be when we're in VR or when we want to go onto, um, you know, our experiences, we don't want to be folding stuff up. We just want to click play, plug and play and go, you know, that's it. So it's not very super convenient. And also there could be some cables to put in and put out and all these kind of things. So, you know, if you have one of these rigs, please leave a comment below. Let us know your experience and all these kind of things. And, you know, what is it like to have these kind of chairs um, to set up and, you know, how much space does it take? And, you know, because I think you've got to be pretty fortunate to be able to own, um, you know, something like that. And then the other thing is I want to look at is the cost. Now, personally speaking, come on, I'm mean, doing YouTube, you know, and currently I'm doing a course in C-sharp programming for VR and AR, so we can actually become a certified developer channel. I don't really have the funds to go and buy a wheel, to be honest, it's really expensive. And you might think, oh, but you can buy one for $100. Yeah, but the $100 one, um, you know, the, the $100 one is not gonna be great. It might break very easily. It might not last very long. 
you know, it might have issues and might do something with the steering wheel and then it goes flying somewhere. You know, it, it might not last very long and, and then what, I have to buy another one that's $200 plus the packaging and all these kind of things. So I'm just saying that at the end of the day, it's gonna come to the same price as a semi-decent kind of wheel. Now, if I transition back and I go into, you know, what are the best wheels according to PC Gamer? Sorry, you know, if you guys don't think PC Gamer do good reviews, but I personally think they do. Um, you know, we're, we're looking at different different kind of brands. They, they match three specific brands. So the first brand is Thrustmaster, which seems to be one of the brands that, you know, uh, is pretty synonymous in the industry of people using these kind of things. And also, depending on your country, you may not be able to receive certain wheels, okay? Um, they might be also other brands. So do leave a comment below if you have your own preferred brand or wheel that you use so that other people in the community um, you know, can get that inspiration and that recommendation from you. So look, we're looking at the Thrustmaster T100, T300 RS. It is in Singapore dollars. So it's the Singapore dollar, um, by the way, and the US dollar um, is more or less the same. So one US dollar to the Singapore dollar, if I'm not wrong, it's more, it's 1.3 difference, okay? So do bear that in mind. So let's go back there. So, you know, 600, 600 plus US dollars for a wheel. I mean, to me, personally speaking, um, I don't know, but that's, that's a lot of money. I don't really have that kind of money to fling around and keep buying different stuff. So um, if I had 600 Singapore dollars to spend or 600 US dollars to spend, personally speaking, it wouldn't, for me, it wouldn't be a priority investment to spend on a wheel, okay, for the channel. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of things you think would be more of a priority. Um, but for me, it's a lot of money. I don't think it would be that much of a priority. If we go further down, um, there's a Fanatic CSL Elite. I don't have the price. I'm trying to find out, but I do know it's, it's a few hundred US dollars as well. And Fanatic apparently is not a bad brand. A lot of people seem to be buying that brand as well. We have the Thrustmaster TX Racing Wheel Leather Edition, which is also 600 plus US dollars. So, you know, that's quite a lot of money. And then also there's a Logitech G29 or G23. You know, we're looking at 400 plus US dollars. And when you go and read up the reviews about this specific wheel, well, a lot of people say it's okay, but it's not exactly the greatest wheel out there. So it makes me beg to think whether it's a wheel I would actually go and buy if it was gonna be, you know, that specific wheel. So I have been looking at wheels. I have been looking into it because you guys have been telling me that I should get one and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, I wanna talk about my specific uh, feedback using an Xbox S controller and why I will not buy a wheel right now, right at this moment, because of the first two things, which is space and also price. Honestly, you think if you think that using an Xbox S controller actually breaks the immersion, it doesn't, okay? Now, let's be clear. Having a wheel and pedals and everything that goes with it most undoubtedly is gonna provide you a much better immersive experience than using an Xbox S controller. Of course, having the real thing to the closest thing is gonna provide you the most immersive, immer immersive experience for sure. But I'm just trying to tell you that the moment that I put my HP Reverb G2 uh, onto my head or I put my uh, Pico Neo, which is here, you know, this guy also, the Pico Neo, the moment I put the HP Reverb G2, the Pico Neo on my face, honestly, using the Xbox X controller, I have a great experience because I haven't been exposed to having a wheel. So I don't know what it's like to use a wheel. So until I've had that exposure, ignorant is bliss, as they say. So to me, this is perfectly fine. I use this for all my Automobilista 2, Dirt Rally, uh, I use it for Assetta Corsa Competizione and also be careful because when you buy a wheel, some of them are not compatible with all the actual uh, car sims and play sim, plane sims and all these kind of things. So do be cautious when you go out and buy a wheel. Make sure that it's compatible with all the various different uh, VR games before you splash that cash because as I said, it's a lot of money. So, you know. I'm just saying that the Xbox S controller, okay. To me, the most important thing is a VR headset, okay? If I was to prioritize controller, 
wheel, VR headset. VR headset without a doubt is the number one thing for me, okay? Number two, um, maybe after your wheel would be your chair. So this chair is just a normal IKEA office chair, not sponsored. Um, you know, I don't have the, the famous sports chair or they, they cost so much money, honestly. I'm just happy with what I have, to be honest with you. So it's amazing that we can do things with as little things as we have, all right? So all you need really is a great VR headset. As long as your VR headset is awesome, and it gives you that experience that you're looking for, then honestly, an Xbox S controller for me is more than enough. So if you're edging, wanting to splash your cash because you think it's gonna make that much more of a huge, massive leap of a difference, yes, it's gonna make some difference, but honestly speaking, as I said, 600 US dollars or 400 plus US dollars, you could potentially buy, I guess, secondhand maybe, if you're okay with that. If you're okay to buy a second hand, maybe for half the price or for a third of the price, depending on the age, how long it's been out. But of course, you won't have the guarantee and all these kind of things. So it is very much of a personal decision. But as far as I'm concerned, guys, I'm gonna stick with my Xbox S controller because I'm happy with it. I really don't have space to put a wheel anywhere here. Um, and also it's really, to me, even 400 US dollars, honestly, at this moment in time, it's quite a lot of money. So I'm gonna keep my money, save my space, and just use the Xbox S controller. So guys, I just want to give some shout outs to um, a few of you guys on the channel. So let's go back to, let's transition back to the channel and then uh, go to the VI Essentials. VI Essentials channel. And thank you so much for all your comments and hey everything. Hey guys, how's it going? So you guys are really awesome. Um, really can be, you know, can be happy with all the enthusiasm. Uh, let's go to the Paradiddle uh, video. So I just want to give a shout out to um, SZ, Ali, Alan Harrington, Shine585. And I also want to give a shout out to our new subscribers. Yeah. Um, okay, let's go to YouTube Studio. And then let me go to latest recent subscribers. All right. Um, so let's go by subscriber date. So I want to give a huge shout out to Arpit Sina, uh, Gunnar of Gunners, Riper72, Dustin Deek, David Benitez Moreno, Kashan Singh, Santiago Iglesias, Kaz Horsley, Hassan Habak. Helder Pimenta. Also, I want to give a shout out to Ashley Bizot, Mario Rocha, as now we do Rani, Ernesto Romero, Malaki Smith, Kirko Sism, Pritesh Nathani, Cedric Green, Player underscore VR, Boss NRG. And then now I just want to give a shout out to, um, you know, uh, random people also. Um, so, Freak said, Plushy Shorts. Um, Punkonomics, Between Realities, uh, do go and subscribe to Between Realities guys, they do really awesome stuff. Tony Davi Fing, Ring Finder, Games and More, Dare VR, CJLG999, Dare Leader, Optimistic Prime, Joy Kim, Volseth, and Thunder Thumbs. So guys, Thank you very much. Do like and subscribe and enable your notifications so YouTube tells you when we upload a brand new video, of course. Until next time, take it easy and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.